What's up guys, it's Andrew from Uplink and I'm here to show you an amazing Starlink install in beautiful Lake Joseph, Ontario in Muskoka. And uh, the client couldn't get signal at their cottage because there was too many trees. So we've had to put the Starlink on the boathouse. Let's see how we do it. So right now, David is going up on the ladder. He's going to do an obstruction test just to make sure that where we want to place the dish, it's actually going to work well. We're thinking we're going to do a wall mount right in between these two windows here. And uh, Starlink's going to just pop out above. North is uh, pretty well on an angle facing in the same way those windows are facing and it should it should uh, be able to get a clear signal. So one of the things that we actually want to do first when we get to a Starlink install is plug the dish in to actually make sure that it's working. And then we uh, make sure that we've you know got it up and running and then we proceed with the rest of the install. We're just at the boathouse and Dave is just gonna bring the dish out, place it on the ground here. We'll make sure that it's working properly. Obviously this isn't gonna be a good spot for it, but we just wanna make sure that it's gonna boot up and search for the satellites and not have any problems. So we've run a speed test and determined that the Starlink is at least functioning normally. And uh, now we're just going to move into the setup mode and uh, get the dish mounted. David's got the ladder set up here and he's gonna go up and he's gonna install the wall mount we're gonna use. So we're putting these wall mounts on and we're gonna have a 10 foot, foot mast that's gonna go up there. And the reason for this is because the Starlink system needs to sit above this roof line here. Otherwise, it's gonna be obstructed by the roof itself. So he's gonna have one of those guys go there, the other one's gonna sit a little bit below it, and then the 10 foot pipe is gonna shoot up above the roof line so that it has a clear shot to the sky over here so that's the idea for what we're doing So we're going to use the Starlink uh, pole mount and this is actually great because you can see how well it matches the cottage with the color. There's a tiny little hole on it here that you can see uh, that's for putting in like a self tapping metal screw and that's because it actually comes in two sections so uh, that's going to allow us to just secure the two pipes to each other and then um, it'll make sure that it doesn't move or anything. or all over. All right guys, so I just want to show you what we're going to do here in order to get this cable uh, now run to the cottage. So 
we're going to set up a mesh network. What we're going to do is we're going to run a, a flexible conduit so that the cable's protected. We're going to drill a hole down here in the corner and then the conduit's going to go down. But what's underneath the boathouse is water. So Dave is going to go down in the water here and he's going to swim under to the corner of the boathouse. is I'm going to get in the water here and I'm going to I'm going to shove the conduit over to Dave and he's we're hoping that the water is deep enough over here in the corner that he's going to be able to receive the conduit from me and then shove it up through the hole uh, where our Starlink modem is and we're going to connect everything together so part of the reason why I wanted to film this job because it's a little bit different and crazy but um, it's also this shit's exciting I like this stuff so Nice, dude. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's plenty. Just riding the cable down here. Wanting to get it as neat as possible. We've actually run this conduit uh, in the corner of the boathouse there and it actually comes underneath the dock and in the rocks and we've just buried it in this mulch here you can kind of see it comes along here and runs along and then Dave is just working it through the trees there and that conduit's going to protect the cable as we run it back to the cottage and uh, you can see it kind of coiled up in the trees there and uh, yeah we're just going to be doing the three sections of that uh, all the way back up to the cottage you can't really see the cottage from here but it's up there so here we've had to run conduit in the ground you can see Dave's got it along there again this is just kind of halfway up to the cottage and then from there we'll be able to uh, bring the cable up and plug it in up here. So in here we're going to repurpose the uh, Cat5 cable that's running through the cottage and then that's going to be um, converted to um, the mesh network system from the telephone system. We've got a network switch in the basement. Okay, so the cables run and we're putting the Starlink modem here in the boathouse. And then uh, we've got this Orbi access point here. So this is for the mesh network. And a lot of people ask me like, what is a mesh network? Well, what we've got is this Orbi is connected to the Starlink modem. And this Orbi is actually giving out Wi-Fi. Uh, as a default, the Starlink modem gives out Wi-Fi, but because we're putting it in the boathouse, it's not going to work back at the cottage. The cottage is about 300 feet away. So we've got this Orbi here connected, and then we have a cable that runs through a conduit back to the cottage, and we have three more Orbeez in the cottage. There's one in the uh, main floor like seating area, there's one in the master bedroom, and then there's another one that's down in the TV room in the basement. So when the client is like moving around his property, this Orbi gives it the same Wi-Fi network as all the other Orbeez. So your phone, your laptop, your tablet will all connect seamlessly to the Wi-Fi network that is just available on your property. Kind of like how it is when you're at an airport. So these devices all wired together create an amazing extension of your Wi-Fi experience that you would have if you were connected to the modem in multiple locations on your property. The closer you are to the modem, the better your Wi-Fi speed is going to be and the better experience you're going to have. And we're just replicating that experience in multiple locations on your property so that you have an amazing Wi-Fi setup everywhere you go on your property.
All right, guys, so we're done this incredible Starlink project. We got the Starlink up on the boathouse with great signal. The client's cottage is set up amazing as well. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you've got a rural property or a cottage in the Muskokas and you want incredible internet, let us know, comment, like, subscribe below. Take care, see you in another video.